It was a day in history marked for transformation as various young people and stakeholders gathered for the unveiling of the Africa for Africa Youth Initiative. You just are part of the history being made at the launch of the Africa for Africa Youth Initiative. The Africa for Africa Youth Initiative seeks to influence the young African mind to believe, aspire and contribute to the socio-economic and socio-political development of African nations. The keynote speaker, Pastor T.T. Edun, in his address charged the participants to develop their mind because in it lies the power of possibilities. So your mindset has got to, to change. And that brings my final point, the power of your mind. Why is it that God of, there's nobody in this room that wants to be a teacher, a primary school teacher. Nobody here wants to be a primary school teacher. I didn't even mention a nursery school teacher. Nobody. Nobody wants to be a primary school teacher. It's the mind. It's your mind. It's your mind. Let me tell you how it's your mind. The reason you don't want to be a primary school teacher is because your mind has told you that all primary school teachers are poor and broke. Participants at the event shared their thoughts about all lectures delivered by the speakers. To show that we actually have a strength amongst us, we have ideas that can work, and it's all about developing our ideas, believing in ourselves, and then shipping it for the whole world to see. Because the truth is that Africa will be built by Africans, and today the fire has been set in our hearts to take uh, Africa to the next level. And so we are ready. We as Africans, we are ready. And the whole world is going to watch out for us because Africa is about to experience something brand new. For, for me, it, it's, it, gives me, it, gives me, it gives my heart so much joy to see that all that we have produced, things that we have produced, things that we can do, can be focused on and given a voice. Because pastors taught us that, you know, pastor said in one of his, in his messages that the young boys from Africa are taking over the basketball game. And now they've left that game largely to the tall black boys. And Pastor was telling us then that this same energy can be harnessed and used in, in, in academics and in other fields. I learned so much in the program and I believe strongly that Africans will be by Africans. And not just Africans, but the new generation coming forth and the future up ahead. Because I believe there's so much potentials that we as Africans have a lot to do. And we have a lot to give to Africa as a whole. I believe that there was no better time for a meeting like this than right now, especially with our elections coming up. I'm seeing so many youths frustrated with our political systems already. So with an initiative like that, it's pushing us youth to do more, realizing that our black is not a condition, our black is not an error. Rather, realizing that the best things on earth are found in the black soil. The height of the event came as a keynote speaker, Pastor Titi Edun honored the event by unveiling the logo of the Africa for Africa Youth Initiative. So, today, I dedicate and unveil Africa for Africa Youth Project Initiative, Youth Initiative, to the glory of God, to the service of mankind, and the renaissance of the continent of Africa. The Africa for Africa Youth Initiative is inspired by the vision and passion of the world-renowned minister, Reverend Dr. Chris Oyakilome president of the Love World Incorporated, who inferred that Africa will only be built by Africans. Thoughts that bring behind the initiative, Pastor Chike Ume, Director, Africa for Africa Youth Initiative. The colors are mostly brown, black, and white, representing the dominant colors of Africa, mostly brown colored, but we do have white Africans, I hope you know. 
that's why we ensured there was white as well, so that the white Africans don't feel like it's not something for them. They live in Africa. And we have here the map of Africa with a finger, uh, a palm print, the print of a palm of a young person, and two figurines here representing young people. And this is a bulb, a light bulb, radiating light. What we're saying here is that by the, the Bible says the hand of the diligent will bear rule. So we're saying that the diligence of African youths, the continent will be a light to the world. Ruth Ekara for Lava Plus News. Thank you very much. And